and they will be accountable. That includes you as well, and that includes those young men that can't even respect the, the great tragedy that happened in Poland. One day, they will stand before God. One day, they will have to give an account for what they did and what they didn't do during their life. It's appointed for a man, God says, in his word, once to die, and then judgment comes. 95 people, Saturday morning, 10th of April, in Smolensk. Find that out. Now they got it. There is no need of further explanations to those people. There is no need for them to find the truth. They already know it. They already have it. They stood before the Holy of Holies, the creator of heavens and the earth. 95 people, now they know. Now they know. Today the question remains for you, do you know? Young man, do you know that one day, perhaps today, your life will end? Do you know that perhaps tomorrow, your time will pop up? Your number will come out? You have great plans, perhaps. Perhaps you want to see your family next week or next month or next year and you make your preparations, but you don't know that your tomorrow can never come. Maybe it will never come for some. This president was on a mission to do something great, something beautiful, to remember over 20,000 people killed during World War II. But he never made it. He never made it. Please, respect this time. Polish nation is in grief. Great and terrible disaster came upon the nation of Poland. But it's a good reminder for the rest of, la of us. Do you know your day? Do you know your time? Can you have the assurance that you're going to live and you're going to make it next week? They boarded the plane, 154th old, old plane to Bolev. At 6.40 in the morning, they did not expect it to be dead within hours. They had plans for the media interviews. They were to meet with the veterans and their families. They had everything planned and prepared and they were dead within hours. You may have great plans. I said it many times to the politicians, to the mayor, to eldermans, to MPs, that one day Everything you did in politics, if it was not God in the middle of it, it's worth nothing. Zero. All your life. If it's not done for God, it's worth nothing. Because in the end of the day, you will turn into dust. And Jesus spoke about hell. Hell is real. Where is my president, Lech Kaczynski, today? Where is he? Is she burning forever and ever? Where is his wife? Where are the clergymen? Where are those generals today? They had great power, authority and prestige just a few days ago, but now they are dead. Where are they? They already know where are they. Where are you going? Do you know? Do you have that assurance that when you die, you know that Jesus paid the price for you and you accepted it? Do you know that when your time, your time comes and it will come, your time will come, it's just a matter of time. Do you know where you will end up? 
heaven or hell is the reality for every man that dies. 95 people, Saturday morning, they already know. And there is no changing. God told me years ago, you cannot change the company in the middle of the battle. But when you are in heaven or in hell, it's the reality when you die. When you are in hell, you cannot change your heart. You cannot make a second decision. It's done, it's over. Done deal. At 8, 56, early morning, at Smolensk, 95 top people died. Poland was left without their president. But we, we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So make sure that you serve Him and Him alone. Make sure that He is your King. Because the earthly kings do die. The earthly kings are passing away. The earthly kings are turning into dust. But our King has risen. Amen. Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. I take this opportunity to speak to you, but also to a Polish nation. Who is your king? Who is your Lord? Who are you worshipping? If it's not the King of Kings, the only one that said, the only way to go to the Father is through the blood of His Son. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Him. If you die, do you know where you're going to spend eternity? Poland, do you know when you die? And you will die one day when you're going. I want to leave you with that. If you are not bought with the blood of Jesus, if you did not repent from your sins, you're going to perish and you're going to end up in hell. But God, God says, I wish that none shall perish. The love of God, the cross, speaks of His love. He wishes that none would perish. He wishes for all to come to the kingdom of the living God. I bless you with that. I bless you with His love and His promises. Because as comes for the president of Poland, we don't know where is he. But you can know. You can know. When you die, you can know. And I bless you with that in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, the life is short. We come and we go. But eternity is forever and ever. We last forever. You will spend it with the devil if he is your Lord. Or you can spend with Jesus, which is my Lord. And bless you.
This one went to Poland, all the way to Poland. I believe it. That God will raise up revival and, and godly leaders. 